My parents are divorcing because mom had an affair years ago and lied about my paternity. I've chosen to live with dad and mom is being a witch about it. Original post. My dad approached me and told me him and my mom were divorcing. He wouldn't tell me why, but I kept pressing him. And then he eventually told me the truth, that I wasn't his daughter and the result of my mom having an affair with another man. Apparently he always had his suspicions, but his suspicions were confirmed after mom blurted out the truth to him one night when they were arguing. My mom also confessed to me about who my real dad is after I approached her. I hate my mom so much. She was disloyal and lied to my dad for years. How could she do this? And to me, to bring me into such a messed up situation like this. I hope when my parents divorce, she ends up with nothing. She deserves nothing. Damn my mom, she's a disgusting whore. How does she know? Presumably she was also sleeping with her husband at the time too. I didn't ask for details, but it all makes sense now. Weird comments from relatives and family friends over the years suddenly add up. They all knew, everyone did, except me and my dad. How would they know like your DNA though? Mom or biological dad might have told them, or they were just aware when she was being unfaithful and just naturally suspected it. Plus observing my physical features, it's so obvious I am not my father's daughter. It's funny how I only see it now. How are you and dad? I get he isn't your bio dad, but does he still want to be in your life? We're okay. My dad told me no matter what happens, he'll always be my dad and there for me. He's moving out and I want to leave with him, but feel awkward to ask. Just knowing every time he looks at me that I'm a reminder of what my mom did to him. I feel like an abomination. My life's a mess, not sure what's gonna happen. I have so much anger towards my mom. I feel lost. Get a DNA test to confirm. Your mom may be lying to hurt him. This or she could also just be wrong. If she was cheating, how does she know which man contributed the winning sperm unless she has already done a paternity test on you at some point? Go with your dad and there is no harm in doing a paternity test to find out the truth. The easiest and least expensive way to do this without involving a court and not having anything that could be used in court, which I take it you probably wouldn't want, would be for you and your dad to both take whatever commercially available ancestry test is on sale at the moment. I bet your dad would love to have you move out with him. You probably can't do no contact with mom, but you're probably old enough to have a say in the custody arrangement. Withholding information about your paternity is a huge betrayal of trust. I hope in the long run if she changes her ways you can get past it, but your feelings about this now are valid. If I were in your shoes, I'd want to go with dad. Thank you. At this point, I don't think a DNA test is really necessary, but it's definitely going to get done. My dad wants it done. I hope nothing will change between us. He's been a great father to me, and in all honesty a much better parent than my mom ever was. Now for the update. I posted on here a few weeks ago about my parents divorcing, initiated by dad. My dad and I found out that I wasn't his biological child and was actually the child of a man she had an affair with. I was really hurt by this and had a lot of anger towards my mom for doing this to my dad. He's a good man that has done right by us our whole lives, so you can imagine how much this shook me. We have done a paternity test since and the tests confirmed I was in fact not his biological child. But my dad didn't abandon me and wanted to remain in my life as my father. When my dad was about to move out, I confessed to him that I wanted to move out with him and didn't want to be with mom. He got very emotional, told me he loved me more than anything, and said to me he wanted to ask me but wasn't sure if I would want to after knowing the truth. I also told my mom I wanted to move in with dad and I think it would be better because I have way too much anger towards her and the time apart would be better. But then she turned around and started accusing my dad of turning me against her like I don't have a freaking mind of my own. And she actually had the audacity to say to my dad, you can't take her, she's not yours. Yes, she actually said this after years of pretending I was his and my dad spending so much time, energy and money on raising me. We argued more and I ended up leaving with dad. My mom has since bombarded me with texts, threatening that unless I return back to her, she is gonna destroy my dad's life. I hate her so much. You did the right thing. You need to support your dad and he needs to support you. Your mother is a piece of work. Prepare yourself for what you see now because this is the real her. Selfish, self-centered, manipulative and untrustworthy person. She will lie, accuse and try to destroy everything around her just to win. 
stay strong, and your dad too. Very astutely stated, Opie, I remember your original post, and I am glad you managed to ask your dad. I suggest you remember the above line. She will probably do anything to discredit and destroy your father. There is a lot of good advice given in the comments below, but I will throw in my two cents. Keep a record of what she says to you, if possible. People like this often say a lot of things in such situations that is detrimental to their own cause. Adding to the previous, save every text, every threat, every attempt at manipulating you or your dad. I don't know how old you are, but where you want to live matters here too. So you and your dad need to protect each other. Every contact she makes, every threat, every attempt to manipulate either of you. In the meantime, dad can have his attorney file an emergency custody slash legal guardian order, giving him the right to have you live with him. The court will take your feelings into consideration. In some states, he is still legally your father. Is his name on your birth certificate? If you were born while they were legally married, many states assume he is the bio father unless paternity is contested. At this stage, if she decides to contest paternity, it would have to go through the court process, but you can still remain living with him. Have him get an emergency custody, family court petition. His divorce attorney should be able to help him and you through this. You just described my mother to a T. Definitely doing the right thing, Opie. Stay strong. I have been through a similar situation with my parents, and while I am 100% sure I am my father's daughter, I only found out in my early 30s that my mother was a serial adulteress. My dad said the entire 10 years they were together she was never faithful, and he didn't find out until several years into the marriage. But it created a volatile home life for me and my brother, because all my parents did was fight, some of it violently until they separated and divorced. I asked my dad if she ever gave an explanation on why she cheated so much, and he said she told him that once a guy showed her any amount of attention, she just couldn't help herself. Like, wow mom, desperate much? I'm pretty sure if you guys took her to court, the courts would back you. I suggest family therapy, because I'm pretty sure a therapist would say it would be better to be with your dad versus your mom. My mom cheated on my dad when I was 23, and it shook me. I had to go to therapy to learn how to forgive my mom. Also, your mom shouldn't bully you to come back. Save those text messages. That secret did a lot of damage for you and your dad, and your mom is just going to have to realize it. Also, I believe if your father signed your birth certificate, he is legally your father. I think you have to petition the courts to request to get someone off of a birth certificate, and I think you have to have a paternity test done by the courts. Tell your mom, look, you have already caused so much hurt and pain towards me. Guilt tripping me to come back to you won't make me forgive you or make everything better. All you are doing is making me resent you more than I ever have before. I need space because maybe this wasn't a big deal to you, but you've taken away part of my identity and you're acting like it's no big deal. It is a big deal to me because these decisions you made affected my life. This is the decision you chose to make and now you have to live with the consequences. Today I betrayed my daughter. Original post. My, female 45, daughter Savannah, female 26, told me yesterday she's a part of an affair with a married man and that happens to be her friend's husband and I don't know what to do. She told me it so nonchalantly that she's in love with this guy, male 31, and that he's going to leave his wife for her. I asked her doesn't she feel bad for her friend? And she told me no, that her friend, female 28, only cares about their new baby and doesn't have time to be a good wife to him since she hasn't kept up her looks, so it's her fault. I tried to press her and try to have her see how this is absolutely wrong, and she doesn't consider it wrong whatsoever. I love my daughter to absolute pieces, but the path that she has been on is scaring me. This honestly not the first time she has done this. She has done this to a couple of her friends from college, and now she's doing it to another friend. Every time I try to hold her accountable, she would just stop speaking to me and not let me see my granddaughter. I just feel so lost and conflicted as a mom that my daughter feels no remorse for ripping a family apart. She was always boy crazy as a teen, but I never thought it would escalate to this. She's an only child and I always tried my best to do good by her. Her father is also a drunk and we have no idea where he's at. I guess this is a cry for help from me. I feel absolutely sick just typing this out. So I'm looking for help on how can I handle this situation. I'm really having trouble with this. Being boy crazy is different than being an immoral horrible person. The fact that she has no empathy for her friends is scary. If she thinks this guy won't cheat on her too, she is insanely naive as well. You should do a few Google searches to show her the facts. 
Only 5 to 6% of affairs lead to marriage. Of those marriages, 75% end in divorce. If this guy is willing to cheat on the mother of his child, then you will not make a good partner. Appeal to her selfish interests, as clearly caring about morals and empathy will not sway her. I doubt she even cares if this guy cares for her or not, since she did this to other friends before. Yeah, this is a power trip. She feels empowered by feeling like she can get any man she wants no matter the obstacles. When she gets him, she can move on to the next one equally. With an alcoholic father MIA, I think she needs some therapy. There might be some abandonment issues to be worked through. The most obvious one, if you want to bring things to a head, is to drop the guy's wife an anonymous message telling her about the affair. That'll sort that problem out one way or another. If you do it well, then maybe this episode, losing her affair partner and her friend, may be enough to kick her head into the right place. But to be honest, if she has always been like that, it's doubtful. You may just have to come to the realization that for whatever reason, your daughter has grown to become a self-entitled a-hole and will always be a self-entitled a-hole. Done right, you may be able to do plausible deniability for her affair partner's wife finding out and thus maintain contact with your daughter and granddaughter. So when you send the affair partner's wife a message, be as general as possible and just say that you saw them together doing things enough to get the ball rolling. This though is a temporary solution to fix an issue that is a result of your daughter being a self-entitled a-hole. That one will take quite a long time to resolve. Note this isn't foolproof. If she has only told you about the affair and you anonymously tell the wife, it will be easier for the daughter to find out who leaked it. Just be prepared to potentially blow up your relationship with your daughter if she does find out. I think you should, because she's kind of a bad person. But the decision is up to Opie. Now for the update. I feel horrible, but I couldn't handle keeping it in any longer. For ones that don't know about my previous post, my daughter a couple of months ago confided in me that she was having an affair with her best friend's husband. For the sake of the post, we will call my daughter Savannah and her best friend and husband, Elizabeth and Stan. My daughter told me about the affair a couple of months ago, and I was devastated and hurt that my daughter was so capable of doing this to someone, let alone her best friend, given Elizabeth just had a baby. I thought I got through to Savannah, and she told me she would stop seeing Stan and will eventually tell Elizabeth the truth. I stupidly believed her, because she stopped talking about Stan, and she told me she was seeing someone else. Well until yesterday afternoon, Savannah came over to drop off my granddaughter because she was going on vacation. I didn't know who she was going with, but when she dropped off my granddaughter, I peeked outside of my front door and she waved bye to me, but I noticed she was in Elizabeth's car. I thought that was odd, given I thought she told Elizabeth everything. So I looked really closely, and Stan was in the driver's seat, and my stomach dropped. I just went inside and closed the door with my granddaughter in shock, and I was just extremely devastated that my daughter doesn't simply care about what the heck she is doing. Yesterday night I couldn't sleep. I went on Facebook and was on Elizabeth's page, and the more I looked at it, the worse I started to feel. Because just the day before, Elizabeth made a very heartfelt birthday post to Stan. And I look in the comments, there's my daughter Savannah commenting, OMG, I love you guys so much. That was the straw that broke the camel's back for me. I debated to message her on air, but I just felt like it would be cowardly on my end to do that, and that she deserves a face-to-face. -face. Elizabeth is a yoga instructor, so I went to her class this morning. I waited until after everyone left for us to talk, and I just told her everything. She initially didn't want to believe me until I showed texts from my daughter. Then we compared our Find My Friend on our iPhones, and wouldn't you know it, they were in the same exact spot. She of course broke down and was shaking immensely. I tried my best to comfort her, and we talked for well over three hours. She told me everything makes so much sense now, and that she wasn't going crazy. I just felt extremely terrible for her the whole time. By the end of our conversation, she told me not to tell anyone we had this conversation. And I'm honestly still confused by that, because she didn't vocalize if she was leaving him or staying with him. So I'm not sure what she will do. So who knows, she might go mask off and expose everything or quietly file for a divorce. So now I'm at home, hoping and praying I did the right thing. My biggest fear is that my daughter will find out I ratted her and then not let me see my granddaughter anymore. But I can no longer allow my daughter to go through life without being checked for her actions because this isn't the first time she has done this. Your daughter brought you into it because she had you watch your grandchild so she could go on vacation with Stan. Your daughter stopped saying anything because she knew how you would respond and probably wouldn't have agreed to watch your granddaughter if you knew. 
You absolutely did the right thing. Your very last sentence is spot on. Being a parent means holding our kids accountable for their actions. It's time she takes accountability. You didn't betray anyone. The only people who did wrong or betrayed anyone are Stan and Savannah. Savannah will probably accuse you of betraying her, but that's because she has probably convinced herself that she's somehow justified for doing it, when in reality, there is no justification for it. Personally, when she confronts you, I would straight up tell her that the only thing I regret is believing her when she said she'd be honest instead of telling Elizabeth myself right away that I'm ashamed of her and that one of us had to set a good example for her daughter and it clearly was never going to be her.